The Lockheed AC-130 gunship is a heavily armed, long-endurance, ground-attack variant of the C-130 Hercules transport. The AC-130 is equipped with a wide array of ground-attack weapons. The weapons are integrated with sophisticated sensors, navigation, and fire control systems. Because of its size and low operating altitudes, making it an easy target, the AC-130 usually operates at night. During the Vietnam War, the C-130 Hercules was selected to replace the Douglas AC-47 spooky gunship. The AC-47 could fly faster than helicopters, at higher altitudes, and could carry more ammunition. This allowed it to deliver continuous accurate fire to a single point on the ground. In 1967 one JC-130 was converted into an AC-130A prototype gunship. A night vision telescope was installed, as well as an early forward-looking infrared device. Down and aft facing miniguns and rotary cannons were installed along the left side. A prototype analog fire control computer was installed and flight tested, and by September 1967, the aircraft was certified ready for combat testing. It was flown to Nha Trang Air Base in South Vietnam for a 90-day test program. Seven more aircraft were converted to the same configuration as the AC-130 prototype in 1968. One of the aircraft received the surprise package refit in 1969. This included the latest 20mm rotary autocannons and 40mm Bofors cannon, and the aircraft served as a test bed for the avionics systems and armament for the AC-130E. During the Vietnam War AC-130s destroyed more than 10,000 trucks and participated in many crucial close air support missions. Six aircraft were lost and 52 crew members were killed. AC-130s have been involved in nearly every conflict in which the United States has been involved, officially and unofficially, since the end of the Vietnam War. In November 1979, four AC-130H gunships flew nonstop from Herbert Field to Anderson Air Force Base in Guam, because of the hostage situation at the U.S. Embassy in Iran. One early option considered AC-130H retaliatory punitive strikes deep within Iran. During the invasion of Grenada in 1983, AC-130 suppressed enemy air defense systems and attacked ground forces, enabling the assault of the Point Salines airfield. AC-130s also had a primary role during the United States invasion of Panama in 1989. The AC-130s destroyed Panama Defense Force headquarters and numerous command and control facilities, and provided close air support for U.S. ground troops. During the first Gulf War, Regular Air Force and Air Force Reserve AC-130s provided close air support and air base defense for ground forces, and battlefield interdiction. In the 1990s, AC-130 gunships were used during the humanitarian operations in Somalia, in Operation Uphold Democracy in Haiti, in Operation Assured Response in Liberia, and in Operation Silver Wake in 1997 which was the evacuation of American non-combatants from Albania. During the War on Terror, AC-130s have been used in Afghanistan, where special forces have directed strikes on Taliban forces. In Iraq, it was mainly used for close air support during nighttime and intelligence gathering missions. AC-130s have also participated in the intervention against ISIL in Syria. During its service, several improved versions of the AC-130 have been produced, with various upgrades. In 2020, the AC-130W Stinger II and the AC-130J Ghost Rider remain in service.